Welcome to the Manila Bulletin Daily Rundown, where we bring you the latest stories that matter to Filipinos straight from the heart of the Manila Bulletin newsroom. Here's the quick rundown of today's top stories. Friday, September 6th. Alice Guo back in Manila, escorted by PNP from Camp Crame to Tarlac Court. Dismissed Mayor Alice Guo has returned to the Philippines early morning today, the Bureau of Immigration said. Guo will be facing criminal charges filed against her like human trafficking, money laundering, and tax evasion. She was brought to the Capas Tarlac Regional Trial Court Branch 109, which ordered her arrest for violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act based on the charges filed by the Department of the Interior and Local Government. KOJC members dig a suspected excavation area in a basement in Davao City. Members of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ dig a suspected excavation area on the basement of Jose Maria College in Davao City today. The excavation was done during the ocular inspection of Senators Bato de la Rosa, Robin Padilla, and Bongo ahead of the hearing on the ongoing manhunt operations against Pastor Apollo Quibaloy. The police, who has occupied the compound since August 24th, has denied that they conducted diggings while searching for Quibaloy. Three possible cyclones may develop this month according to the weather forecast. The worst is not yet over as up to three more tropical cyclones are likely to develop this month, according to weather forecast. Office of Civil Defense Assistant Secretary Hernando Carreg Jr., Deputy Administrator for Administration, said the Pagasa will issue the necessary forecast once the tropical cyclones develop, so the public will have enough time for preparation. Australia, Japan vow to support Philippine Coast Guard. Australia and Japan have committed to supporting the Philippine Coast Guard as they jointly expressed concern about China's coercive activities against the Philippines in the West Philippine Sea. Australian and Japanese defense minister and their foreign minister said they are opposing any coercive actions that could escalate tensions and undermine regional stability. Australia and Japan have bilateral and multilateral maritime cooperation with the Philippines to ensure that the rules-based order is maintained in the part of the region. Pope heads to Papua New Guinea after final mass in Indonesia before an overflow crowd of 100,000. Pope Francis wrapped up his visit to Indonesia after celebrating mass before an overflow crowd of 100,000, a final celebration before heading to Papua New Guinea. The 87-year-old Pope had no official events Friday beyond a farewell ceremony and the six-hour flight to Port Moresby, giving him something of a break after a packed three-day program in Jakarta. In the highlight of the visit, Francis and the Grand Imam of Jakarta's Istiklal Mosque, Southeast Asia's largest, signed a joint declaration pledging to work to end religiously inspired violence and protect the environment. Stay updated with the latest news. Visit our website at www.mb.com.ph or follow us on social media. Thanks for tuning in to the Manila Bulletin Daily Rundown.